usually you could find this type of uh, birds in Africa. Oh, yeah. This is our crocodile pond. Net, uh, to our uh, side attraction all by parking wildlife it was really a real pleasure for you gentlemen coming over in here as our guest visitor thank you please do come inside Okay, right now we are here at the parking area where oftentimes vehicles are being parked, especially from visitors coming in. And on this parking here, that is where the ticket booth is located. This is the area where usually visitors pay the entrance fees and other fees, especially like uh, entrance and uh, rentals for other facility areas that we do have. Okay, right now we are in here in our Instagrammable photos area which is success. I love all the parking wildlife. This is the place where oftentimes most of our guest visitors do have their photo ops and picture taking. At the back of it, that is where the lagoon and at the very back of it, that hills that you can see and behold, that is the Linion Hill. And that building right over there, that is our food court. When our visitor is there is a need of uh, drinks and food that they would like to buy, that's the right place that they could go to. Children's Park. This is the place where oftentimes children having fun and did really enjoy, especially with all the different uh, children's amenities and facilities that we do have in here. And also all around this area, this way in here, uh, we have our animal in-house and cages such as the ostrich, the donkeys, the pelican, a peacock, and we do have the crocodiles and the alligator on that part as well. And right in here also we have the Australian deer. Philippine deer, monkeys, uh, different species of eagles, and at the same time, the lions and the tiger at the back of those things in those areas. All right. some historical background about Albay Park and Wildlife. 
Albay Park and Wildlife was established way back in the year 2000. So it's in the year 2022 now. So it's been 22 years in existence already. This is classified as zoological, botanical, and recreational tourism sites. And uh, in here, there are a lot of uh, animal in-house of different kinds, such as uh, avian, mammals, and reptiles, and amphibians. They are all located in the different uh, places all around the Albay Park area. Albay Park in wildlife is five hectares land area. This is owned by the provincial government of Albay. So this is a government owned controlled center. Uh, this part in here, this is where you can see the ostrich. They are avians, but they are the flightless bird. They are uh, exotic bird. Usually you could find this type of uh, birds in Africa and uh, also in uh, Australia. In here on this part, as you can see, and right in here we have the casuari that is also belonging to the avian family they have of the same uh, kind of as such as the ostrich and the uh, emus oftentimes you could find this in papua new guinea and australia or also some parts in africa they are known to be as flightless birds as well similar to the ostrich okay okay in here we have the peacock one of those beautiful avian that you can see and uh, the white one are the peahen the color one the colorful one are the male so they're known to be as peacock and uh, that white thing over there it is called pelican that the one is the female ones the one with the long tail is the male one oh, I see right. I didn't know that right look at the beauty over here exactly see how they're attracting because of their tail right. so that's how peacock is especially if they are courting the female ones they really have to show off their tail so mm -hmm. it's really the male that's really attractive mm -hmm. Boy, young and boy. Boy, young boy. Boy, young boy. Boy, young In this case, we do have the Rokos Knight Heron and the Kabuya Duck. Here we do have the Crocodile. Mm, crocodiles. Yes, we really had to take a look where he is right over there. Maybe we could transport to the other side. Here we go. Here is our crocodile. This is our crocodile pond. And somewhere in this area we have the alligator. Alligator is. The big difference about the two is that alligator has a short, uh, has a long snout, while the crocodile has a shorter snout. When it comes to sizes. Alligator is much smaller than compared to the crocodile. crocodile. So why, why is it in the same cage as the turtles? Oh, it's because uh, they don't harm each other anyway. <laughs> They're friends. <laughs> I see. Yes. And we have these Alrighty. amphibians in here. There are two types of turtle. The box turtle and the red slider. 
they are friends. <laughs> Turtles. Turtles. This is our door for sheep. Our pelican. Chinese bantam chicken. So these are smaller yes. short messages. So to speak, Chinese tree. And what about that over there? That's Hassan. Yeah. It's a Powell, T Powell classification. our picnic group. <laughs> Okay, this is one of our beautiful places in here, our lagoon. This is an area usually for activities as you can see oftentimes our guests have been enjoying their uh, boating activity or boat ride. In the middle part of that lagoon is an activity area which is oftentimes being used for some small scale uh, parties or small scale meeting or even children's activity. Photos.
right now this is the way going up to the uphill where some of the cages where animal in house are located such as the lions the tigers different species of eagle the reptiles and uh, at the same time um, uh, owls owls and papaya oh there are plenty of papaya in here and other uh, botanical uh, plants that you could see so i'll be showing you where the lion is located and likewise the tiger too the lion is right here how many lions do we have inside we only have one we have one his oh. name is simba hello simba hi simba we have a guest visitors in here. And our lion here is known to be a raptor. Uh, we've been feeding him uh, chicken and some other meat. And uh, oftentimes, it's usually meat that we do feed him. The lion po namin galing siya ng Cavite. Uh, oh, he's from saan, Cavite? Opo, kung saan dun po siya kinuha at uh, Doon siya pinrocure o binili, tapos dinala dito sa Albay Park. Pero doon din po siya lumaki sa Cavite. Palagay ko po, doon na siya isinilang din. Kasi nang pumunta siya dito, maliit po po siya. He is a lion cow. Ang ganda niya ha. Ito po, this way. This is our tiger. Nag-iisa din po siya. Ingat lang po kasi kapag tinaas niya yung uh, buntot, buntot niya, ay sigurado mag-squirt po yan ang hihi niya, ang pangke. <laughs> ang malakas po umihi yan. Opo, nag-squirt po yan. Kaya kapag tumalikot <laughs> sa inyo, taas ang ano niya, kamalis na po kayo at delikado. <laughs> Uh, oftentimes the tigers are known to be carnivores they really feed on meat but sometimes they do eat uh, certain vegetations as well all right so right now in here we're going uphill to be able to see further more of the different animal in house in the different cages so this is where located uh, some of our avians uh, uh, reptiles and also the monkeys ay tinatawag na lawin Uy. dito naman po ito yung mga Philippine hawk eagle namin here we are this is our Philippine hawk eagles, they are considered raptors, they feed on meat. In the wild, they do feed on small rodents, sometimes uh, chickens and little chicks. Here, Andito naman po yung grass owl o barn owl. Kung familiar kayo sa Harry Potter movie, similar owl na feature doon, kagaya po at kamukha nila. 
pala yun. So usually, nagigising sila pag uh, gabi. Uh, owl are considered po nocturnal. Mm -hmm. Kapag ka-araw, they are sleeping. Pagkagabi, active po sila and they utilize it for hunting their food. And uh, yung owl po ay napapaikot nila yung leeg nila almost 360 degrees. Hindi po yung mata. Okay, so where are we going next? This way. We'll feature the sea eagle and the serpent eagle, then we'll pass by. Meron pa kasi isang klaseng owl din dito. Okay. Ito naman po ay isang uri ng species ng agila. Uh, they are called uh, sea eagle. Often times kapag nasa wild po sila, yung habitat nila ay malimit doon sa malapit sa dalampasigan. Uh, this type of eagle are known to be monogamous. Ibig sabihin po, faithful sila sa kanilang partner hanggat hindi pa po namamatay, hindi sila naghahanap ng iba. <laughs> Po, mayroon kaming Philippine Eagle Owl or tinatawag na Quago or Bukao. Ang mukha niya ay kagaya sa Quago pero yung balahibo niya, yung pakpak niya ay parang kagaya sa agila. Kaya tinatawag siyang Philippine Eagle Owl. <laughs> Biglang tumalikod. Oh. <laughs> Ayan sa taas. Hey! <laughs> Nayado siya. <laughs> hey, what are you looking here? <laughs> Ito po yung mga fat belly pig namin. <laughs> Mga native pig. Oh, native pig. Dito po sa kabila. Ganun din. Ah, native pig. Mm. Ang ganda po ng Dito naman po, nandiyan po yung St. Croix sheep namin. Uh, kahalo po yung Philippine deer. Nandiyan po yung Philippine deer. Ah, yun sa dulo, oh. yun. Pinakikita. Here. Matagal na po kayo doon. So, inside here are the snakes? The snakes. Actually, not snake technically, but rather python. Python. Oh. Mm -hmm. There you are. Oh. I don't know. This is our Burmese albino python. Uh, sometimes we took him out for some photo ops and picture taking with our guests. We put them on their shoulders for photo ops. Mm. Opo, yung pinapa picturean sa balikat. Ah, sa bawal siya po. Ha? Bawal siya ano yun. Uh, limited lang kasi minsan mahirap din na palagi siyang nahahawakan. Kasi na ano rin siya, nalalanag ba? Ingat. <laughs> Oh. Good boy. Good boy or good girl? Boy. Good boy. Ah, boy. Boy. <laughs> boy. Ah, your boy. Tito. So, here naman po yung silpin lizard or layagan. 
Oh. Uh, kumakain sila ng gulay at uh, kung nasa wild kumakain din niya ng mga insekto at uh, small animals din. Okay. Pero dito po ano yung pinapakain nila yung gulay. Ah, gulay. Ayan po. Ayan po siya. Ayan sila. Ayan sa may kami. Ayan pala dito. Amin or musang. Vegetarian din po yan. Vegetable din kinakain yan. Pero mahina pa rin po yung dati. Pabilaan po siya. Andiyan po. Andiyan po. Yan yung mga monkeys. Opo. Silipin natin. Opo. Ah, nag-iisap pala siya. Opo. May nag-iwalay po yan kasi. At aaway-aaway din. Si Mr. Monkey. Uh, Philippine yeah. Monkey lang po siya. Philippine Monkey. Okay. Ooh, I see you, see you, see you every time. Pin Town uh, and uh, places in here within the Bicol area. It's predominant this kind of species, this type of monkey that you can see right now. They are called Philippine monkey. Ang pare para rehas ng mga pula, Philippine monkey. You Australian deer na lang po, hindi ko siya. Australian deer. Eh? There's another monkey in here. Hello. <laughs> Thank you, though. Number eight. Right in here we have Bingala. Bingala? Bingala. Yeah. <laughs> Chinese chicken then. in here on this part is our Australian deer it has been uh, in case uh, separately because it's of a different species and a different kind in compared to the Philippine deer uh, medyo malalaki po sila in kumpara po doon sa Philippine deer, Philippine deer. kaya uh, hiniwalay din sila ng area ng kulungan nila
And the poor. <laughs> in there is one of our photo ops area also where a lot of guest visitors have been taking their picture and photo ops at the same time so it's a beautiful pot in there and a good background <laughs> and we have here the beautiful view of the lake so here we are with the beautiful view of the lagoon This is where oftentimes uh, when guest visitors wanting to have their biking activity, we have our private concessionaire where they could rent the bike for their uh, biking activity at that within inside Albay Park in White Line. We do have our children's playground where children have been having fun and doing the swing and the slides and other uh, activities like seesaw. Last part of our tour, I'll be taking you to our food court. This is a facility area where oftentimes our guests could be able to have their food and their snacks and drinks. Here's what's inside our food court in here with the different uh, food stalls with uh, being rented by the different private concessioners where guest visitors could be able to have their food and drinks. Pretty much that's the end of our tour for today. Thank you very much PH.net for coming over and visiting our place and having featured Albay Park in Wildlife. We're really grateful of your uh, featuring us our site attraction. 
and uh, hopefully uh, viewers would really like us and uh, would really come over for a visit and see and have a taste and experience about our site attraction. Thank you. Thank you for taking us around Sir Ronald. <laughs>